Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 273. It's Friday, Friday of a new moon weekend. There is some good energy available for us this weekend. It is another gorgeous day here in Cincinnati. It's still warm. I think tomorrow we're headed to 90, so it's definitely a very sticky, hot end to the summer, fall, (laughs) fall, summer season. And most of my weekend is going to be spent outdoors, um, which leads to the theme for today's podcast, comfort zones. (laughs) So I will provide an example from my life, and then you can find the matches to where you are being asked also to push against the edges of what feels comfortable and propel yourself into something that hopefully is a really great decision. If not, you're going to make it a great (laughs) decision based on yesterday's podcast (laughs) because we're stepping up this week and we're accountable to ourselves. (laughs) So there is definitely a theme here of expansion, (laughs) expansion, more happening in our spaces than perhaps we have been allowing so far. Okay, so here's Here's what it looks like in my life. (laughs) You may hear this and go, that is so ridiculous. I can't believe that's what she thinks is a comfort zone. But for me, this is a biggie. So I am going to retreat this weekend. And tonight there is a sweat lodge that is being hosted by this couple that facilitates it locally. I have never participated in a sweat lodge before. I've always been fascinated by it, but from a long distance away looking (laughs) at the experiences people describe and yeah yes so yeah i read it in the description and it's with a group i trust and love and i remember when i read it going oh i'm a yes to that and immediately my brain going no you're not a yes (laughs) you're no (laughs) and then i sort of sat in that space for a while of yes no yes no no yes (laughs) you know how you do that (laughs) and then of course as source plays in the most beautiful ways in my life. I went to my favorite store right around the uh, neighborhood here where they sell crystals and incense and herbs and things. And so (laughs) I went in and my favorite person was working and she said, you're not going to believe it. I just went to a sweat lodge this past weekend. (laughs) And it was right when I needed to commit and say yes or no. (laughs) I was like, oh, (laughs) So I asked her about it and she said it was amazing and just so transformative and really powerful. And she looked healthy. She didn't like she'd suffered, didn't seem to be scarred or wounded from it. (laughs) So I said yes. And then immediately afterwards could feel my body going, oh, oh, (laughs) I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. So as you can tell, I'm a little giggly and giddy about it right now because that's how lots of energy moves through my body. It often comes through as like laughter and fidgetiness. And I can feel all of that starting to bubble up inside of me. I am not a fan of sweating (laughs) or it being excessively hot unless I'm in a pool or by the ocean. (laughs) Uh, I am not a fan of being in enclosed spaces. Um, the one time I did, twice I've done a hot yoga class, and the first time was um, really tough, but I had a really good friend next to me, and she somehow got me through it. The second time I was by myself, and I literally had to lay down halfway through. I thought I was going to throw up in the middle of the class. (laughs) It was not a good experience, and I don't think the heat in that room was even close to what the heat is going to be like in this tent. So 
I've been talking to my body and, and being very loving and kind to my mind. And when a fear comes up, I just feel it. <laughs> I move it down and out through my feet and into the earth. And I remind myself that my soul's a clear yes. <laughs> I may not get it, but my soul has something that it wants me to experience. And so I'm trusting. I'm trusting that guidance. So <laughs> that is what I'm doing tonight um what i okay so comfort zones right i am stretching um in a way that is definitely outside of what feels comfortable and yet it feels in such steady alignment that i know it's the right next step so when i arrive in places like that in my journey where i can feel um it's not anxiety it's um it's like lots of energy moving I'm not always quite sure you know what that means but it's not it's not fear like the kind of dread you know when you dread something and you don't want to do it it's not that it's a different expression it's more um, like when you know you're going to do something that's going to be amazing and exciting and you're going to get to the other side and go oh I rocked that (laughs) it's that sort of feeling inside it's not the I can't believe I'm being forced to do this kind of feeling. When I arrive at places like that in my journey where I know something is ready to expand, but I'm not sure what it's going to look like on the other side, that's usually when I get really intentional about the energy I'm bringing and the experience I would like to feel and the results I would like to be open to. So as I've talked about it and been feeling into it and described it to my family, what I have said, I've used words like, I'm going to sweat out any fear, any resistance. I'm going to release that which doesn't serve. On the other side of this, I'm going to feel more expansive. And so my, my words, my actions, my energy is all in alignment of moving through this stretching of the comfort zone in a way that serves me and serves everyone around me. So that's my description, (laughs) my example of how it's playing out in my world. Yours could be any number of things. I feel like I've said this over and over all week and last week. It could be health. It could be finances. It could be work. It could be relationship. It could be your destiny, your soul. Wherever you have the sense you're bumping up against the edges of what you have known and there isn't the same amount of space there used to be to play you're feeling tight or like restricted and there's a need to sort of pop through or push out past what you have been my suggestion is to explore it in the way that i just described you know get still get quiet feel into what is it on the other side that you want to see as a result or experience in your life how do you want to move through that experience do you you know can you call in support energetically your guides your angels your soul to be felt more present uh, for me when i just finished meditating i was calling in all of my guides and angels i'm like uh yeah <laughs> sit right next to me <laughs> in the sweat lodge okay <laughs> like right next to me and then make it as easy as possible <laughs> yeah. you can do that also you can invite you know all these unseen beings that walk with us every day and right ask them to make it easier as you stretch and then how do you want to feel do you want to feel safe and held and loved and witnessed i i know in the sweat lodge i don't know if you keep your eyes open or closed or what actually is going to physically happen (laughs) but I know I have friends in that space who will be there with me like human friends and so my intention is if I if I feel a moment of not sure what to do or say or what's moving I can open my eyes and see a face that I know I trust and that will help settle me and um, we can call in lots of that kind of physical and energetic support when we are stretching our comfort zones And perhaps it's important also to just name this. When when we name it, like I'm saying this here in this space, this is a comfort zone that I have 
known I have avoided <laughs> and now I am coming and stretching it. I am moving past this old comfort zone that I've had in this one specific area. By naming it, it's like we give ourselves permission to see the experience differently. So instead of, you know, we're resisting or it's hard or there's pressure or we're fighting something, we just name it like, oh, I see how I have been this one way and now I'm evolving, I'm becoming more, I'm expanding. And as I do that, oh, of course, it's going to feel different. There might be some feelings of nervousness or um, boundaries or, you know, whatever it is in your, in your experience of it. How many times have I said experience? <laughs> Apparently tonight's going to be an experience. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah, there aren't English words enough sometimes for the energy that's moving. <laughs> when we name that we are playing at the edges of our comfort zone, I feel like it gives our mind and our body a rest, a permission to relax and right exhale exhale and that's often the best way through any expansion at my new moon circle last night I don't know how many times I was saying to different people breathe <laughs> breathe we need to breathe into whatever it is that's coming up for us because when when we're worried or nervous or anxious or we know we're stretching sometimes we think we got to hold our breath to get through that moment and exhaling, breathing out, releasing, right? Some of that tangled up energy. It just gives more space. And then our comfort zones can stretch a little wider just from that extra space. Yeah. So that is going to be my night. <laughs> and then tomorrow I have the whole uh, group gathered and we're going to be facilitating and learning and playing and celebrating the beautiful gift of being alive at this time on this planet in this gorgeous hot summer weather here in Cincinnati. I send you off into your weekend with so much love, and I will see you back here on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. I invite you to join me in aligning with the optimal health of your mind, body, spirit in the virtual community of Viv's Energy Gym. You can learn more at mysouljourney.com. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours.